I've given my life to the blue coat, really. <laughs> it was the sort of place I've always wanted to be, full of artists, full of eccentric people. I came here as a admin assistant, and then one day a week I was allowed to work in the gallery, which I did for about a year or so. And then they offered me a job running the gallery. So I was thrown in at the deep end, a young fine art graduate, not knowing what I was doing. Literally, I've been here ever since. The Blue Coat's unique because it's got this history of combining heritage with progressive art. The beginnings of the Art Centre really goes back to 1907 when a group of artists called the Sandon Studio Society, which was a breakaway art school from the university, set up home here in these empty school buildings. And they established a community that we still have today. It is this great sort of crossroads where lots of things happen and chance encounters happen. And somebody said once, it's where the avant-garde meets village hall. And I really like that idea, that it is a sort of village hall, it's a community centre, it's a place for local people to come and meet and hang out. And when you come here, you're going to be exposed to progressive art ideas, you know, new thinking, whether it's in literature or music or visual art. I think the spirit of Blue Coat, since the artists have been working here, is that we place artists at the centre of everything we do. We exhibit the work of artists, we, we do concerts by musicians. It's a place where writers have thrived, where dancers have been, many memorable dance nights here. And live arts, it's a sort of venue that does live performance as much as it does visual arts. You can go back to 1934 when Stravinsky was here, through to the 80s and 90s when you got jazz giants like Sun Ra performing here. Blue Coat's given me the opportunity to meet lots of fantastic people who are creative, from Yoko Ono to a, an emerging local artist. I just love coming in because it's a building that has this great sort of serenity, but behind that exterior, it's a very dynamic place. It's always changing. Will we be here in 300 years' time is a good question, isn't it? I think we will be as long as we have artists at our heart, as long as we keep our doors open and accessible and make the arts attractive and interesting for people. I think we will still be here doing what we're doing. And despite everything happening in the world, I think you know that the culture is really leading the way in, in terms of the city's regeneration. As people say, we're not just a pretty facade. A lot goes on and it's a very rewarding place. <laughs> <laughs>